that we just did it, we went ahead and connected the credit cards and we looked at the inter bank fee to bank fee transactions related to them. But then we were like, well, now I've got PayPal. PayPal is like, not only am I getting stuff from PayPal and using it as an intermediary to get the money into my checking account, but now I'm using PayPal as a checking account. So QuickBooks Online allows us to connect to PayPal. If you're using PayPal in that way, then you might want to then, of course, connect to PayPal, possibly treating it in essence as another bank account, which it in essence basically is at that point. So that means we've got the information from PayPal now that are in what I would call like the bank feed limbo down here, just like with the checking account. Most of these are going to be increases uh, for a lot of businesses because you might use PayPal to to collect money from platforms because you have no that's the way to do it apparently for some time. And uh, but you might also have expenses that are, you're more and more possibly paying out of the PayPal as well. And then we, we've got the transfers that are most likely hopefully going from PayPal to the checking account. And so we've got those intercompany kind of transfers. So let, I'm just going to add these fairly quickly because we've seen them in the past. Remember that if you got paid like like this one's from Udemy, if you got paid everything from like Udemy or one platform, YouTube or something like that, then you could wait till they clear till you transfer them from PayPal to your checking account. And it wouldn't say that it came from the source. It wouldn't be in the memo that it came from YouTube or whatever. But you would know that because all your PayPal stuff came from one source and therefore you can just add it when it hits the checking account. But if you're holding on to cash in the PayPal account so that you can pay expenses or something like that, now you've got a situation where you probably want to connect the bank feeds to PayPal to get that added information. If you have multiple platforms paying you, then you also might want to connect to PayPal to get the added information of breaking out the, you know, the source of the revenue. Now we're going we're gonna to assume that these sources of revenue for PayPal are similar when, when we're looking at our revenue cycle that we're in like the gig work scenario. So I'm waiting until something kind of clears the bank recording the revenue when it when it does with a deposit form with the use of the bank feeds, which means I'm not using the sales receipt or invoice the forms designed to record income, losing then a little bit of detail on the sub ledgers breaking out income by customer by item by thing that we sold. So therefore, I might just do what I don't normally do if I was using the full service system and just record an income account called the person that paid me or the institution that paid me like Udemy income or pay or you know YouTube income or whatever.